In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to use the concept of greatest common factor to solve a story problem. But first, you have to read the story problem and use keywords to figure out that it is indeed a greatest common factor story problem. The problem reads that two pieces of ribbon, one with a length of 63 inches and another with a length of 42 inches, are cut into pieces of equal length without remainder. Find the greatest possible length that the pieces can be. So we are going to start by identifying keywords within the problem. Some keywords in this problem are pieces, equal, without remainder is going to be important, and the word greatest. The word pieces indicates that we have to use factors to solve this problem. Factors are like pieces that fit equally inside larger numbers. Because the pieces that are going to be cut have to be equal length, we would say that the factors would have to be common. Without remainder also signifies that it has to do something with factors because factors being divided into a larger number will have no remainder. And because the problem is asking us to find the greatest possible length, this would signify that we are looking for the greatest factor that can be divided into 42 and 63. So first we are going to start by finding any common factor that fits inside 42 and 63 and then seeing if that factor we chose is the greatest or we have to dig a little bit deeper. 7 is a common factor of 42 and 63. So we are going to divide 7 into 42 and 63. 7 can be divided into 42 6 equal times, and 7 can be divided into 63 9 equal times. Now we have to check to see if 7 is our greatest common factor, or only a common factor. If the numbers we have at the bottom share a common factor other than the number 1, we did not find the greatest common factor yet and 6 and 9 have a common factor of 3, so we must divide that common factor into 6 and 9. 3 can be divided into 6 twice, and 3 can be divided into 9 three times. When the numbers at the bottom share no other common factors other than the number 1, you are finished breaking down your numbers, and then you take the numbers you have written in the left-hand column and multiply those together, and that will give you the greatest common factor. In this case, we have 7 and 3 in our left-hand column, so when multiplying those together, we have a product of 21. So the greatest possible length that we can cut each piece of ribbon into would be 21 inches. With the 63-inch piece of ribbon, we can cut three pieces that are 21 inches in length, and with the 42-inch piece of ribbon, we can cut two pieces that are exactly 21 inches in length.